Hi everyone, this is Corey from the club. I wanted to give you guys another update and just go over some of the things that we've been working on here. We are about to reopen. We are 144 days in to the first, since the first closure that was issued on March 16th. And we've made a lot of improvements to, to different areas of the club. But what I'm gonna talk about today is the cleaning um, program that we've implemented. And we've implemented it in partnership with Safe Companies. And I think you've, you've probably heard in our communications that name mentioned a bunch of times. And what I'm gonna do is go up to the third floor and we're gonna interview the president of Safe Companies and have him tell the members and, and everyone who watches this video the, the things that we're doing to um, keep the club clean and keep the club safe as we adapt to the new dynamics that we're faced with. So let's go upstairs. Okay, so we're up on the third floor and we're gonna interview Anthony. Thank you, Anthony, for taking the time to chat with us. Yeah, we are, we are a, a janitorial slash restoration company. Um, we're very versatile. We work with all types of market segments. Um, such as gyms, senior care facilities. Got, we have government contracts. Uh, we work at the LA Unified School District. Um, our largest client is LAX. We're, we're basically in the food and hospitality space inside the airport. We do a lot of the uh, corridors. We do a lot of the retail outlets within LAX. Um, we work for Lala. We work for Westfield. Uh, we've cleaned for NBC uh, Universal. Um, um, Huntington Hospital, Kaiser Hospital, Methodist Hospital, all within our local region. Um, here at the Athlet Athletic Club, um, we, we took a five-step approach, um, what, what we call a gold standard. Our first step was doing an analysis of the facility, looking at square feet, looking at cubic feet, also asking questions such as, you know, what are the processes in place right now? Um, are we outsourcing a janitorial company? Or are we doing it in-house? Our second step, that we've done is that we came in and we did a deep, deep, deep cleaning. Um, within that deep cleaning, um, we actually did what's called ATP testing, adenosine triphosphate, where we actually took measurements of all pathogens on all surfaces. Um, after we do that, we want to get a reading of kind of where we're at, where a baseline is. And then after the deep cleaning, um, we did what's called disinfecting. We did a disinfecting protocol. And after the disinfecting, we did what we put on barrier products, which is an antimicrobial coating. For you of those, for, for those of you who don't know what barrier products are, my simplest analogy is very similar in the world of how you scotch guard a, cop, a carpet or how you put Teflon on an upholstery. That's a barrier product that puts an antimicrobial protection on, on any type of surface for three to six months. It's fantastic. Um, we also just didn't tackle touch point surfaces. We focused also, uh, we cleaned out the coils and we really looked at, we really wanted to tackle airborne pathogens throughout the facility. So we cleaned out all the coils through all the HVAC systems for the entire club. We put in a product that's called, a proprietary uh, product that's called Procure. And what that does is that it disinfects and it kills pathogens within the air um, during the process. So we really feel here at LA Athletic Club, we've really, um, from the restoration process, it was really, really, really fantastic. Um, the third step, what we did is we documented that process. Um, the fourth step we did is that we came in, we talked to um, the, all the staff, all the workers, all the employees, all the custodians, who's ever responsible for maintaining this. We actually talked about best practices with educating, giving them the proper equipment and training and the fifth and final step, which we're, I'm so proud of, and we've done a great, great job collectively as a team here, is that we, we ended up together writing what's called the sanitation protocol of best steps to move forward because what we really want to do here at LAAC is make it sustainable and safe for ourselves, the employees, and our guests. What gets measured gets fixed here at LAAC. I'm really excited. Um, here because what we've done is we've instituted um, ATP testing on a monthly basis. So we just don't want surfaces in the facility to say it looks clean. We actually want to measure it and we want to actually prove and have documented protocol that it is clean. So 
So with this device, we'll always be able to test surfaces, especially high touch point surfaces, such as door handles, residence rooms, bathroom facilities, many touch points, and we'll be able to always take measurements and actually know and have an accounting of how many pathogens are living on a surface continuously. We always want to see that count 30 and below. And I'm excited, I'm very confident we're going to be able to do that and execute that here at LAAC. I've been so proud of the staff at LAAC. They've really um, adapted, they've learned. They were already pretty much experts um, with proper cleaning protocols already, but just um, in the new safety protocol and this new world of safety we're living in, I've been really proud of, of just the work they've put in. Um, it's just been so much about labor and diligence, and they're really um, doing a great job. So, so any of the employees here, any customers, I, I think you should feel very, very, very confident. Um, you are in the, safe, the safest environment you could be when it comes to really a gym facility. So going forward, um, at LAAC, it's important to note that we've made some amazing changes, what we call the new safe. We've, integrate, we've integrated technology and equipment, um, proper cleaning protocols um, with best practices and state-of-the-art um, chemicals. With that technology, there's two devices um, that we use. We have, one of them is called um, a sanimister. So every day throughout the day, we are going around and we are sanitizing um, all touch points, all, all, all surfaces, all medium to high risk surfaces. Um, then at night, our company is coming in and we're actually using a product called Vita Oxide and we are disinfecting the entire facility in all areas um, from the gym equipment to the office space to the residences to bathrooms. Um, so to potentially probable areas of guests coming in and out, we are tackling that every single day with Vita Oxide. One of the most, my favorite products um, with Vita Oxide is that it's, it's, it's got something it called chlorine dioxide. So when we're spraying at night, it's actually an, another uh, tool in our shed that we're using to kill airborne pathogens on top, not just the touch point surfaces we're directing it at. Um, here at LA Athletic Club, I'd like our guests to know what we've instituted is a product called Simix. What's so wonderful about Simix is that it's a sanitizer. Sanitizer is very much different than a disinfectant. A sanitizer in a dwell time is anywhere from three to 30 seconds, where a disinfectant, which we use at night, takes anywhere from five to 30 minutes. What's so wonderful about Simix is that it's a hydrogen peroxide-based cleaning product. It's non-toxic, it's hyperallergenic, it's approved by the FDA. This is a fantastic product that we are actually spraying and cleaning the facility all day long, even when guests are here on site. One of our favorite, there's many different ways and methodologies of how to disinfect. One of our favorite ways to disinfect here at LAC, what collectively as a team we've come up with, is by using what's called dry vapor technology. Anything over 212.5 degrees um, scientifically is known to kill 100% of pathogens, viruses, microbes, bacteria, etc. So with all the locker rooms, all the bathrooms at night, we will be cleaning all those facilities with using dry vapor technology. And the amazing thing about that is that it's so ultimately safe because you're not using chemicals. You're actually, you're fighting biology and science with science and biology. So I'm really proud here as a team collectively amongst the LAAC staff and safe companies we are using dry vapor technology and as one of our cleaning protocols and methodologies for disinfecting.